So in this example, ladies and gentlemen, just a reminder that what we're gonna, what we need to do is we need to isolate our trigonometric functions. So, um, Carla, we can either use inverse operations, okay? We can either use inverse operations, or we can go ahead and use factoring. Well, in this case, we can't really isolate sine or cosine and solve. And obviously, you can see we have two trigonometric fun we have two trigonometric functions anyways. So our best mode of action is going to be factoring. So we got to see well if they have something in common that we can factor them out, and we can see that they both share a cosine. So by factoring out a cosine, I'm left with 2 sine of x minus 1 equals 0. And again, guys, remember you can always check your answers by just, you can always check your answer to factoring by multiplying it back out. Does cosine of x times 2, two sine of x give you 2 cosine of x sine of x? Yes. Does cosine of x times negative 1 give you negative cosine of x? Yes. So always check your work if you're kind of a little bit confused. Then, since we have the product equal to 0, now what we can do is say cosine of x equals 0 and 2 sine of x minus 1 equals 0. Solve this for x using inverse operations. Add 1 to both sides. Divide by 2 on both sides. Sine of x equals 1 half. And I apologize. They're asking us to find the solutions on your homework between 0 and 2 pi, which is basically on the unit circle. So we need to know our unit circle here, and or at least the first quadrant. So they're asking us, when is cosine of x equal to 0? That means when is the, what angle produces when the x value of the coordinate point on the unit circle is equal to 0? Well, there's two angles that I'm aware of, or two points where the x coordinate is 0. Between 0 and 2 pi is going to be this angle, which is pi halves. And if that's 1 half, 2 halves, 3 halves, 3 pi halves. Then they're asking us, well, when is sine of x equal to 1 half? Well, I remember on my unit circle here that this point, square root of 3 over 2 comma 1 half, the, sine, the y coordinate is equal to 1 half. And that angle is going to be pi over 6. But so every single time the y coordinate is, pi, is 1 half is going to be whenever the reference angle is, is pi over 6. But for sine, which is y coordinate to be positive, that means it has to be in the first or the second quadrant. So I need to figure out what this angle is, because I know the, ref the uh, reference angle is also pi over 6. So it has the same coordinate. But I just got to figure out what that angle is, which if halfway around a circle is 6 pi over 6, and your pi over short, short 6, therefore this angle is going to be 5 pi over 6. So therefore, x equals, I'll just use a solution set. OK. Um, so what I decided to do was, instead 